Hey guys, it's Steph from Salty News Network and I'm back with another review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Legion 5 gaming laptop from Lenovo. Now, the model that we have here is the AMD variant. They also have an Intel variant which is the Legion 5i, but we're not going to be talking about that today. For more information on that, you can head on over to their official website. Now, this laptop is a gaming laptop, but it doesn't look like one. By that, I mean it doesn't light up like a Christmas tree or have any cool or edgy looking designs on the exterior. All you get is this small metal Lenovo tab and Legion here in a subtle holographic finish. The Phantom Black is well, black, and black never goes out of fashion. This wouldn't even look out of place at an office. The entire body is plastic. Hard plastic, soft touch plastic, matte plastic. But surprisingly, it still looks and feels good thanks to the mixture of different textures used. In terms of flex, this thing flexes more than your average gym bro. But despite all the bounciness, it still feels thick and resilient enough to take a good beating. And also at the top here, you find a nice notch that helps you lift the lid with just one hand. Instead of digging into the crevice like you're searching your butt crack for small change. Now, I.O. ports. Possibly my favourite part of this laptop because almost all of them are on the back. The sides are more minimalist than Marie Kondo with just one USB Type-A port on each side plus a 3.5mm jack on the left. Everything else has been thrown to the back, including a proprietary power port, an HDMI 2.0 port, two USB Type-A ports, one USB-C with DisplayPort 1.2 support, and an RJ45 Ethernet port. The display on this review unit is a 15.6-inch Full HD IPS panel with a 120Hz refresh rate. Everything is crisp and clear, but the brightness and colours are pretty average. I highly recommend that you upgrade to the 144Hz option, as that one has 100% sRGB coverage as well as 300 nits of brightness, which would definitely look much more vibrant. On the forehead is a 720p webcam with a microphone array for all your distance learning and work from home needs. The quality is exactly what you expect from a gaming laptop. But what I really like about it is the built-in privacy shutter which means that the FBI or PDRM will no longer be able to spy on your saggy body parts fresh out of the shower anymore. Now on to the keyboard. First impressions, great! It has a number pad as well as full-size arrow keys and the power button is separate from the rest of the keyboard which I really like. However, typing on this thing is less than great. Despite Lenovo boasting a true strike technology with soft landing keys, it's not really as nice in practice. The keys are mushy mushy and resulted in more user error than usual. I mean, I could just be a shit typist but honestly it could benefit from more tactility. Otherwise, the concave keycaps are nicely shaped and feel good, and the keys have a nice travel distance. The base model of the Legion 5 comes with plain white backlighting, but ours has been upgraded to 4 zone RGB lighting, which I highly recommend that you do. I mean, keyboard ugly, MMR also just okay. The trackpad feels nice and it's placed perfectly in the centre of the typing area, which I really like. It definitely isn't as smooth as a glass surface, but it still works fine. Also, because of the full keyboard layout, the Harman tuned speakers have been relegated to the bottom. In case you're wondering, the speakers sound pretty good for a gaming laptop. Now, for the specs. This particular model is running on a Ryzen 5 for the 600H processor paired with a GTX 1650. It also comes with 8GB of DDR4 RAM and 512GB of M.2 SSD storage, both of which are not enough for me. I'm a fan of having 16GB RAM as a minimum as I'm a Chrome tab spammer, and you probably want to upgrade the storage as well, cause this one filled up almost instantly with just 4 AAA titles. Our unit runs pretty well during CPU heavy tasks, but it's pretty underwhelming for gaming. All 3 games we tested it on bench an average of under 55 FPS at high settings. Of course you can reduce the settings for better performance, but I'm spoiled and I don't like ugly games, okay? But can upgrade parts ma you say? Yes, can upgrade can is can, but unfortunately the AMD variant of the Legion 5 got the short end of the stick because this one can go only up to a 1650 Ti, whereas the Intel variant can go all the way up to an RTX 2060. We demand justice for AMD. Other handy perks include the function lock feature, so you can change your settings and control music playback with a single press of a button. And it sounds just like a song. Pressing Function plus Q also toggles between the three performance modes on this laptop. What's cool about this is that you can easily see which mode you're on via the LED indicator on the power button. Quiet is blue, auto is white, and performance is red, which allows your CPU to perform at full power. One thing cool about this laptop is the Coldfront 2.0 cooling system. After unscrewing 11 Phillips head screws from the bottom of the laptop, you will see a total of 3 heat pipes, 2 fans and 4 radiators. Coupled with a generous amount of vents on the bottom, back and side of the laptop, this thing remain cool even under heavy loads. The SSD, Wi-Fi card and also the 2 RAM slots are behind 2 shrouds, which is accessible after you remove them. On the left, there is also an additional SATA cage and another M.2 slot for your upgrades. The battery is a 60 watt hour battery which gave me about 3 hours of general productivity, aka YouTube, 
Reddit, and some article writing on maximum brightness. If you want it to last longer, you definitely have to bring the charger with you. Also, please la, don't take on battery power, okay? Now, on to the price. The base model of the Legion 5 starts from 3,699 ringgit. And of course, upgrades are gonna cost you. But then again, nothing in life is free, right? Either way, it's great that you can customize the parts according to your needs. Overall, it's a well-built machine with excellent design choices and features. The back-facing IO ports and thermal cooling performance are excellent. On the other hand, the max configuration for the 1650Ti is rather disappointing. Hopefully, Lenovo will show more love to the AMD variant of the Legion 5 in the future. So, what do you think about the Lenovo Legion 5 gaming laptop? Is this something that you consider buying or will you go for the Intel variant instead? Let us know what you think. And as usual, if you have some salt to pour, leave that shit in the comments. This is Stephanie from Salty News Network, signing off.